Right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, today we are doing a full stage manual, uh, yeah, ultimate stage one. So this chap's already got um, a racing line intake R600. He's got an intake pipe from MTC and he's got a turbo elbow. So he's ready to rock and roll on that, but it is a manual. So uh, we've supplied a RTS clutch, which Patrick here is going to fit. Um, you did one of these the other day, didn't you? Yeah, two days ago, so yeah. Yeah, and what Not was? Not a bad job. Not no. a bad job. The clutch feels OEM as well, which is really nice. Yeah, I mean, I have noticed that uh, we've done sacks in the past, which are really good as well, but I, I know you've experienced those too, and they can be quite heavy under the you foot. You have to get used to it, definitely. Yeah. If you've got, like, if your girlfriend drives a car, you're yeah, not going to like it so much, no. yeah. So these RTS clutches seem to be really popular at the minute, so we thought, right, well, the next car that comes in, we'll do one. So we did one the other day, drove it, it was mint, it held power on the dyno, uh, and we made some fairly good torque on that last car as yeah, well, yeah. didn't we? We ran a high torque tune. Um, so this car's going to have Voodoo uh, Stage 1 Plus, technically, because it's got all the uh, breathing mods on. Pat's going to fit this clutch. I'm going to follow him around and annoy him all day. Um, we're using a, we're fitting a dual mass flywheel. Yeah, well. so you've got a genuine Sacks. dual mass. Yeah. Is that so? Saks is the genuine uh, OE supplier of. I believe that so. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's OE equivalent, definitely. Yeah. Um, so. And I mean, these RTS, they're, they're stamped with Saks anyway, so I believe they're a modified Saks unit as well. So yeah. It should all match together really nice. We, like I say, we use that on the last one as well. So oh, so you use that same, uh, same flywheel? flywheel, yeah. Right, cool. Well, I'll um, I'll follow Patrick round for a little bit now. Uh, I'll try and get everything that I can. I have got quite a bit on today. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll Hopefully catch up. Hopefully I'm going to be super quick with this one now. You will be super fast mate, there's no excuses anymore. Oh. So right, we better go, so we'll, uh, we'll catch up when we get to the dino cell. After doing several hours of work upstairs, including uh, doing some video editing of a polo that we did recently, Patrick's now got the clutch in the car, which I had to do a little bit of filming of. He's currently finishing up. You're in good spirits, aren't you, mate? Yeah, we're looking good. Yeah, so we're looking good. We're going to go bed the clutch in, make sure we're happy with it. Load her on the dyno. It is. What time is it? Oh, even the watch has died. 10 to 5, we're hoping to get out of here at a reasonable time tonight, so let's hope and pray that this car does exactly what it's told. Um, I'll follow Patrick into the dyno shortly, we'll get everything from there and then we'll have a final uh, sign off and show you the graphs and stuff. We're back in the dyno now guys, we've finished tuning uh, tuning that Golf R, it, 
it was a little bit late last night so I decided that the best thing to do would be go home, try and look a little bit fresher on the video afterwards, hence the change of clothes. Uh, the car managed uh, 346 wheel horsepower, which is insane for a stage one. It's, it's right up there, sort of 385 horsepower uh, at the engine. Uh, and the clutch felt fantastic. Everything's really good. The customer's over the moon. He's dropped me a message this morning, let me know everything's all good. Uh, so if you could uh, like and subscribe to the channel, follow us on social media. We're putting a lot of effort into these videos, so it's, uh, it's always nice when somebody rings up and says, oh, we've seen your video, or we saw somebody share your video. So I'd appreciate it if you could uh, go on and follow us and all the rest of it. And we will jump on the next one, which I think I have a full stage two uh, Golf R 7.5 coming in in the next, I think that's next week. So I'll jump all over that one. Um, if there's any suggestions, you know, drop me, drop it in the comments. I'm going to put the graph at the end of the video, so you will see uh, exactly what the before and afters were. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you, catch you up on the next one.